Hello, well, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you love it, don't forget to sub it. I am a, I suppose, lifestyle channel with a thrown in a bit of DIY, bit of makeup, bit of every crazy thing I can think of. Um, so today I'm gonna go through my nighttime skincare routine. I am a Tropics ambassador. So I represent their brand and sell it and I earn commission from selling their items. I haven't actually sold anything for a really long time because it just, I just haven't. I found new products and wanted to try other things as well. So half, majority of my routine is Tropics based but there are some other products in there and I figured I would tell you about all of them. Um, and also going to be trying the new Tropics Clear Sky Cleansing Powder. So I normally use a cleansing, like a cream cleanser. And um, today we're gonna try this. I went a bit crazy with the makeup today. Wanted to just show you how the products work properly, getting my makeup off. Also, if you wanna see sort of mini tutorials and bits and pieces of the makeup that I'm wearing, just go follow my Instagram down in the description below. And I know I'm gonna get, I actually I look forward to hearing some feedback. I think I have oily combination skin. I get like hormonal breakouts around my cheeks. Um, a, a couple coming up on my chin at the moment. Uh, so I'm gonna do <laughs> these lashes off. Uh, the one thing I've learned over the years is to just be very gentle with your skin and actually take care of it, which I don't do often enough. I say this is my nighttime skincare routine. This is my good day nighttime skincare routine. So the first thing I'm gonna use to take off my makeup is this jojoba oil from Aqua Oleum. Uh, it's in a glass jar, which I really like. It's a bit more environmentally friendly. Um, and then hopefully I can refill this at some of the bulk stores. And it's, I found it's a really good way to take off makeup. So I just do a few pumps of that, massage it between the fingers, and it's gentle enough to... <laughs> it's not an attractive job taking off makeup. I now look like something out of the Blue Man Crew. Um, I let the water run fairly warm and I'm using one of my Tropics bamboo face cloths. Um, they're naturally antibacterial and they're really soft, much softer than your sort of your flannels that you would use normally. So. Just gently wiping that off in an upward motion. So that has not got everything off. And I know that this, on the instructions, it says not to use anywhere near your eyes. So I think I'm gonna do another cleanse using my cream cleanser that I have at the moment, which is the Tropic Smoothing Cream Cleanser, um, which is really good at taking my makeup off. I just like to use two different products, so I don't use lots of this. Um, so I'm gonna use this to get the rest of the makeup off and then try a, a triple cleanse tonight. So yeah, just a couple of pumps of that again, rubbing that through fingers and massaging it on. I hope somebody does rate my skincare because I've always wanted to learn more about it. Uh, I like watching those skincare reacts. So let's try this. So it is, take half a teaspoon, add some water, avoiding the eye area, massage onto your whole face. And it's supposed to work particularly with oily and spot prone skin. So I'm just gonna put a smack on here. Good 
doesn't really smell of anything. It only is natural ingredients which already have fragrances in them. Uh, it's not grainy or anything, it's quite creamy. It feels almost like a paste. But I suppose that just depends on how much water you add. Yeah, doesn't really smell of anything. Feels a little cakey if you let it dry for too long. Really, this was more if you are interested in that product, and I've not tried it before, so I needed to try it. Um, first impressions, it works. It's probably a little, they have refill pouches, so you don't have to keep buying the packets. Um, and probably lasts a bit better when there's no liquid in it and you can make it your own consistency but so far it feels so good then going in with the tropics vitamin toner um i love that it's got a spray mist bottle so i just a couple of spritzes of that and i like to press that in. So I'm currently working through three different serums. I alternate each day on what, what I'm feeling. Um, so I have the Good Skin Day Resurfacing Serum from Tropics that has AHA in it. So it is a little more intense, I suppose, but it has the papaya extract. So there's this one. I then have the and this one smells incredible. Then have the Super Greens, which I do use more often than anything else. Um, I find it really helps because it is green. I don't know if it's overnight, the next day my skin is a lot less red than it would be normally. Um, it's just full of the stuff that you think you should be eating, but it's good for your skin too. Um, the smell is interesting. I'm used to it now and I quite like the smell. At first I wasn't keen on it. So it's to each of your own, it does smell healthy. <laughs> so that's the best way I can describe it. And finally, the other serum that I am working through is the Ordinary's Retinol. So this is the Retinol 0.2% in Squale, Squale, Squale? Um, which like I said, I alternate between all these. Um, this one I use maybe once or twice a week. It's I don't, my skin doesn't react badly to it yet, so I'm using this up and using it a little more often until I can go up a level. And I'm going to go with the Super Greens tonight, I think. So I do like to drip it on because I don't like to get my hands all greasy, but I don't touch the skin. And then I take my jade roller. Um, I like to use the bumpy side because I feel like it penetrates the skin more. I got interested in jade rollers um, two years ago. Um, do I think they are legitimate? I don't know. Do I think I'm probably just causing my skin more irritation? Um, I think they're supposed to help with your lymphatic drainage, but honestly, I just find it quite relaxing. And like a little massage for my face. Finally, I keep it fairly simple. I only have a couple of cleansers and then the one serum that I put on at night. Only because I feel like you start putting too many things on and then nothing works. So I just finished off with the Skin Revive Moisturiser. They have changed the recipe for this um, more recently. They're always keeping up to date and researching and bringing out new things, which I quite like about that. Um, and this moisturiser is um, pretty lush. Oh, it smells so good. All of their products smell delicious.
there we go so i do use this routine in the evening i don't really have a morning routine per se i like to splash myself with cold water in the morning to wake me up and then the new product that i've been using from tropics is their sunday uv facial uv defense i like to use a facial sun cream don't know why just prefer it um, and i was addicted to the body shop one but they've like held them in stock forever so i went and got the tropics one and it is a spf 50 has hyalur hyalur ah, hyaluronic acid in it um banana flower and hibiscus extract smells like cake cake batter or like cake icing but maybe it's been like a vanilla-y smell or something but it smells really good and it's really nice consistency nice and thick and so far i haven't used it with my makeup but i will try that so i hope you enjoyed this insight to my skincare routine please leave me a comment down below if there is something you would recommend i try if you are interested in any of the tropic products i will leave a link to my shop link down below where you can buy them and i will make a commission from them otherwise the other products i will leave links to their websites not affiliated um so yeah i will see you next time keep safe keep smiling bye